Hey Super Friends, what up? Super Mario here. Very quickly I wanted to tell you guys about a very important mod that is pretty much essential if you play Fallout 4 or Skyrim Special Edition on the PC. The mod is called Achievements Mods Enabler. Basically what it does is it allows you to accumulate achievements even if you are using mods. So very important that you make sure to back up your saves before you do any of this, before I get into the explanation as to how to install this. This is something that has to be done manually, and as such, since most of the mods that you'll, or a lot of the mods you'll need are actually requiring Fallout 4 Script Extender, it is essential that you keep your Fallout 4 Script Extender updated. Even though it doesn't really say that in the mod author's description, I still strongly recommend that you do this. So please feel free to check out the links in the description. I'll have every link available for you that you'll need in order to install this wonderful mod. And while you're here, make sure to endorse and upvote for the mod author's sake, because, you know, this mod author did a very fantastic job with this mod. Absolutely key. And let's get to it. Okay, so as I said, you'll need to make sure that Fallout 4 Script Extender F4SE is completely up to date. Now, Basically, you just have to download this thing manually. You don't use the Nexus Mod Manager or Fallout Mod Manager. For the purposes of this demonstration, I actually just downloaded this onto the desktop. What I'm going to use is WinRAR. You can also use 7-Zip to unzip this file, and I'm just going to dump it here on my desktop. Let me just show you. I'm going to extract this to the desktop itself. Perfect. You'll see everything pop up here. All you have to do, basically, is copy all of this into your root directory for Fallout 4 in this example. The same thing works for Skyrim Special Edition. So this is the root folder. I don't know where it would be on your machine, but it would be under, of course, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4. This is where the root folder is. You see the Fallout 4 launcher there. And basically, all you have to do, paste it in. I'm going to replace the files in the destination because I just updated Fallout 4 script extender. Perfect. You see them highlighted here? These are all the files that you'll need. Beautiful. Keep this window open because it's very important that you make sure everything is working properly. I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to launch Fallout 4 from the script extender itself. How do I know this thing is working, you might ask? Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to load. You can see the exit save here. Exit save does not have the M attached to it. You see this particular save file has an M, that means that it is modded. I'm going to load this one. And as you can see, there were no prompts telling me that mods are enabled and therefore achievements are disabled. So all that being said, we're just going to wait for this bad boy to load. There you go. So, you might be wondering, how do I know for sure that this thing is working, even though it didn't say anything about, you know, achievements being enabled, therefore... Uh, achievements being disabled and what have you. So let, let me just show you exactly what to do. What you have to do, you Alt-Tab. And as I mentioned, you have to keep that window open. The reason you have to keep this window open is you're looking for this file, the third one down, it should be. It's called Achievements Mods Enabler Log. Okay? You just open this thing, and if it says yes, you're good to go. Absolutely good to go. And that's all there is to it. If this happens to say no, it'll say something like this. All you have to do is just go into it, just type in Y-E-S, and then save it, and there you go. You're golden. One last thing I would recommend that you do not do, or at least try to keep it at a minimal, is going into the console command, specifically if you're in survival mode. Using this mod in combination with the console command can really cause your game to really get disrupted, it gets really wonky, sometimes it can even completely crash your game constantly. So I wouldn't recommend going into console command, especially if you're playing on survival. Just a little, little bit of a heads up from personal experience. So that's it for this very simple tutorial on how to install the Achievements Mods Enabler. I hope you guys found this informative. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would humbly appreciate it. And consider following me on my social media, all of which can be found in the description box just below this video. So until next time, take care.